What's going on guys, Fighting Game Select is here. We are back with some more fighting games and I had to bring Shin once again because I know you guys been wanting to see all these fantastic players, you know, say what they gotta say about the game. So what is good, Shin? I mean, it's a good period of resting time right now between the balance patch, you know, so I'm kind of happy. And we're just waiting for the next big one. I wanna go ahead and talk about this little balance patch, man. How do you feel about it? Oh, I really don't feel like the game changed at all i feel like it's the same game i feel like everything's the same i just uh hop on the rank today and uh i fought ego and prior from korea he uses ken and just did a troll loop on me six in a row they just don't they just walk a little bit more to throw me instead of uh wiggling left and right the troll loop still <laughs> exists you know i i don't i don't get it nobody is really punishing looks down medium punch and look players hasn't decided to stop pressing it either you <laughs> yeah, know we say that at red bull <laughs> yeah like i mean look players still press it and it still hits <laughs> nobody is punishing that uh they tried to punish but they got punished by look instead you know do you feel like this game can actually remove throw loops and do you think that that would be a healthy balance for season two. The thing about troll loop is if you actually remove it, you need to readjust the characters by a lot. Because like some characters need major changes, you know, if you remove the troll loop. You know, because like without the troll loops, you know, it would be really hard to get in against uh, certain characters, you know, and some characters may become a lot weaker. It's a lot of work, so I'm not sure if uh, that is going to be the approach to how they're going to... But I really don't like the troll loops. I feel like it's... There's no... You can say there's my games in it and stuff, but yeah, it's... It's just knowing your options and guessing. Uh, do you think that's any type of way to kind of like balance it? If that was like a way to kind of like balance like just throwing so if you get looped they at least have to spend a resource and they're not positive i feel like now the meta is something like that already like they after the throw they always have to use the dry rush but the thing is it's still too strong because if you want to a lot of the pressure is not real that means even if the dry rush after the throw is not real they they just let the dry rush rock a little bit longer and they still get to your face and you're still gonna deal with a troll loop like and the screen is too small as long as you get it you eat a troll somewhere mid screen and they dash and dry rush you know and you take another troll you're in a corner already making it feels like in the mid screen you know you're kind of also dealing with a semi troll loop is there anything else you want to get rid of in the next season that you think that would not be as hard to get rid of? I feel like they, I feel like I would like to see Burnout getting a lot longer. Like I want Burnout to be either longer or forever. I feel like that forever. will be game. I feel like that would be more because the top tiers has so much tools to play around with the Burnout and they can just kill you, you know, when you are Burnout, but not every character can do that. A lot of character doesn't really shine, you know, when they you know opponent get burnout so if you're gonna get if you're burnout you're gonna gain back your six meter that fast you know it's actually really annoying yeah i feel like if you can make the burnout you know uh timing times two i would enjoy the game a lot more because nobody ah. can just down medium kick dry rush because if you make the burnout times 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 two Every down medium kick dry rush is three bars. You you'll be scared to do all these things, you know, like <laughs> the dry meter management yeah. not only applies to DJ anymore, it applies to every single character. Like every character will be scared to do use the dry meter, you know, like recklessly. Because right now, you know, Luke getting put in burnout doesn't mean anything. Yeah, he put in the burnout like you can't hit him, you know, some like he has stand medium, he has <laughs> super, he has level one, like because the way how the level one and level two is not very balanced. And some creators that deal with burnout better and easier. So the burnout need to have way more heavy consequences. That way, you know, the whole game can can be slowed down, I feel. If not, you'll always be really fast and just going in. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that. Tell me a little bit more about parry. How do you feel about the parry system? Um, it's kind of hard to balance the parry. Because balancing the parry, I feel like it's just rebalancing the whole game. So I don't think the parry is gonna go. Like the parry is always gonna be there. 
the perfect parry is always going to be there. Because even you change the parry input, you make it no dry rush or whatever. Like the parry is just the core mechanics of Street Fighter 6. It's so important. Like just doing a little bit of change to it. Like there's so much to adjust. It will be feel like a whole new game. So I don't think the parry will be touched much. You know, but there are other aspects, you know, like that has to be deal with it rather than a parry because it's too hard to rebalance the parry like the way it is and for now I think it's um it's not great but it's not that bad. I feel like not being able to hold parry is good enough for me. Means you can always tap right. parry only once. You go for perfect parry and you know if opponent can delay his button and then like you just burn half your meter. I don't want. I don't like the mind game between holding parry and not holding parry. The parry can be a lot weaker. If you can't hold the parry. You can only press once. I feel like that is gonna be pretty good enough. Do you feel like they should add more recovery when you tap parry? If you add more recovery, I feel like if you make the parry last a little longer, the offense is gonna be worse. Like people can I do see. a shimmy and get a guaranteed parry, throw punish counter on the. There's gonna be consequences, you know, here and there. So I feel like it's not gonna be an easy decision to like just make the parry recovery longer. Do you at least feel like the patch is at least going to like a semi okay direction, even with the little changes that they buffed for like characters like Ryu and like I guess the nerf, the nerf for JP? No, Ryu is still S. JP is still top tier. <laughs> <laughs> still ass. I, I tried to play both like Ryu is still ass unfortunately it's still ass I don't I don't know man like that character feel and JP you know the nerfs are irrelevant JP players are just not playing it so that you can't nerf that further but the next season every JP player will go back to JP oh they're coming out they're coming out of the hood are they like oh we, we climbing out of the dirt yeah, I'm 100% sure. Okay, I want to say 100%, but I'm 99% sure JP is still S. The, the thing is that they nerfed the damage, but the option stays the same. You still cannot do anything to, to on his wake up. It doesn't... Yeah. So it, people will just do a side combo. switch now because it's less damage. You know, instead of trying to do a full combo. But the side switch, you know, and the corner Oki, I feel that is the strongest in the game. Having a plus four... Right. Having a EX, you know, or something on the head of it, you know, and the corner Oki is just way too strong. I was telling people, as long as you get put somebody in the corner, I think you're still good. A lot of people were saying that JP, uh, Luke is undisputed the best character in the game right now. How do you feel about it? I, I don't know if still, I don't know if it's number one in the previous patch, but it feels almost the same. It could be number one that people say, but I feel like Ken didn't change much either. You know, the troll loop is the same, everything is the same, you know, and it's just being exaggerated. I think certain things are being exaggerated. So if last time you think that Luke is better than Ken, now you think Luke is still better than Ken. If you never like yeah. fighting Ken at the start, you know, then now Ken is still the same. It's going to be just as irritating to you. With the direction of the nerfs that they kind of did, do you feel like those nerfs are going to hit like the, the characters that are considered good really hard or do you still feel like even with the big patch coming like one or two characters might get like pushed up to top tier but the rest is still the same i mean with my experience uh playing street fighter you know seeing all the different patches every year uh, most of the time the weak characters never climbs up like it's really rare to see the weak characters climbing up and the top tiers usually still stay the top tier it's the same for five you know almost the same for four if you are playing a bad character like manon and you're hoping for a buff in season two i advise you learn a new main because uh it's not gonna work out like i feel like after the patch like it's still not gonna be a good character and the look is still gonna Stay the same you know marissa rashid you know these are very dangerous character to buff i feel like they're just so close to you know being if you just touch them a little bit they'll become really strong uh i feel the same way for you know aki as well i think aki is also like those are very dangerous characters they just need a little bit of change and i think they'll be really good wow man well i you know i wish we could have talked about more 
But, you know, Capcom's holding back with giving us a patch that can really uh, got us really intrigued. But, you know, we got to work with what we have, right? Before I leave here, man, I want to say thank you so much, Shan, for coming through, bro. Mm -hmm. Where can they find you? I mean, they can find me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, you know. It's all CNMSG, XIANMSG. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good time. And I appreciate you guys watching this. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.